Hey guys, welcome to today's self-maintenance vlog. We are doing our brows, lashes, hair, and nails, so definitely stay tuned. I'm starting off with this brow kit that I got a while ago from Ross. It came with two tweezers, a brow razor, and also brow scissors as well. So I'm starting off by using the brow razor. I use the brow razor to pretty much shape the bottom of my eyebrows. Now this razor was actually dull by this point because I got this kit so long ago. So it didn't really get rid of as much hair as I would have liked it to, but it did get rid of some of it. And so I'm gonna go in with my tweezer to really shape the bottom of my brow. So as you can see, I'm starting from the middle of my brow and working my way towards the end of my brow. I do this anytime I'm doing my brows, whether I'm filling it in or shaping it. I always start in the middle of my brow and then work my way towards the end. So yeah, you'll see me doing that. And then I'm also gonna take my brow brush to just brush my hair down. That's also super important because it really shows you the real shape of your brow when you brush your eyebrow hairs down. So yeah, just a few tips for you guys. Y'all, I literally love the fact that I know how to do my brows now because I have paid people to really mess my brows up. <laughs> so I'm scarred, okay? So me learning how to do my brows has literally been the best thing ever because my brows stay on fleek now and I always love how they come out, so. I took the scissors just to shape the top of my brow and I'm just taking my tweezers to really, really define the line and yeah, again, like I said, why pay somebody else to do it when you could do it yourself? Again, we are doing our brows, lashes, nails, which I'm super excited about, and hair, so definitely stay tuned. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to your girl channel, and don't forget to leave a comment as well. But anyways, y'all, I'm gonna just sit back and let y'all watch me turn my brows from weak to fleek because it is super satisfying. <laughs> y'all now you see me eyebrows on fleek they came out so good so now we are moving on to nails i have this nail lamp i believe this tool is a cuticle pusher a nail fowler this is the nail glue that i'm using and then these are the press on nails so i am using this tool that i believe is a cuticle pusher to scrape off my nails and also push back my cuticles and then um, pretty much prep my nails for the set. So as you can see, I have some really small nail beds. Anytime I go get my nails done at the nail salon, they always either split in half or the nails don't last on my nails. So this is what really pushed me to learn how to do my own nails. But y'all, I'm about to put y'all onto a method that will help your nails last way longer, look super natural, and yeah, let's just get right into that. So the press-on nails actually did come with a cuticle pusher and a nail fowler, I didn't know that. So if you don't have one yourself, the nail kit will come with that already. So I'm just sizing my nails, just choosing the right size that fit my fingers, and this is the nail glue that I actually used to glue on my nails. The first thing that you're always gonna do is file your nails down just so that your nails have something to grip onto. And then you're gonna apply two coats of the nail glue that you see onto your nail or onto the fake nail. And then you're gonna go ahead and apply the fake nail onto your actual nail. So I repeated this process with every nail, of course, and then you put it under the lamp to cure for a minute. So you guys, 
this is this was just genius i don't know why i didn't think about this before now the beatles nail kit is what i'm actually using here so that's the lamp and the glue they all came together with some clear nails that you can use to actually paint yourself shape yourself stuff like that but i was like why not just buy some press-ons that are already shaped already colored and designed you know That'll save so much time. And y'all, that was the best thing I could have ever thought of. These nails specifically are super durable. The designs are so pretty. I really, I have small nail beds like I mentioned before, so they fit my nails perfectly. And they came in other sizes. So of course, if you don't have the smallest nail beds, you'll still find a size that fits you. But these were so freaking pretty and so durable. That was the most important thing for me because I didn't want no flimsy press-ons. These literally felt like I walked out of a nail salon and I just paid somebody $100 to do this set for me. Like that's how good it was. They also lasted a long time. Mine did last two weeks, only because I took them off early to do braids in my hair, but I'm sure they would last a month, no problem. Especially if you're really delicate and you know how to take care of your nails. I'm rough-handed, so some did fall off, but I literally replaced it with another nail. Two seconds, boom, full set all over again. Like, just genius, you guys. On top of that, these press-ons were only $10, and the Beatles nail kit was only $20, and I've gotten about 15 sets out of that nail kit before I had to replace the glue. So that's why the glue was in a separate box, because I did buy more glue, but I've had this kit for a year now, you guys. 10 out of 10, highly, highly, highly recommend. To really set it off, I went ahead and added that cuticle oil. Of course, you can use whatever oil or moisturizer you want. And yes, chef's kiss. Obsessed, obsessed. So moving on to our hair. So today we are installing a wig. Now, I'm gonna be 100% transparent with y'all. I really do not know how to do wigs like that. I've learned a lot throughout the years, but I'm still not at a level yet where I'm like 100% confident in installing a wig. But I know what I'm doing, but I know I have a lot of room for improvement. So I'll have a detailed video on how I do my wigs later down, later on down the line when I get better at it. <laughs> but today we are installing an old wig. Y'all, I don't know who I think I am, but I literally buy wigs and I'll install it once and never wear it again. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I did find a box of wigs that like I literally wore once and never wore again. Cause you know, I saved them cause I think I'm gonna get back to wearing them or like wear them again one day, but yeah. I'm excited to install this wig. It is an old kinky wig that I really wanted to try to revamp and see what I could do with. Um, I was excited to install an old wig because it took off the pressure of me needing it to be perfect. And a lot of it was already plugged and already like ready to put on. So I didn't really have to do too much. But I remember the first time I tried to install this following a YouTube video, it literally took me like four hours. So <laughs> yeah, again, I will have a detailed video of how I do my bald cap method and all that stuff in another video. So if y'all do happen to like the way it came out, um, let me know and I'll go ahead and drop a video of me installing a new wig that I bought. But um, yeah, I learned a lot while installing this wig, but I think I'm ready. I'll be ready to like install another wig soon. So that's awesome. I actually did use some real lace glue this time. Usually I just glue it on with some gots to be hairspray and call it a day, but I wanted to practice like actually laying my wigs down with real glue. This came out really good. It did last four or five days before it started to even lift. And I just decided to take it off because your girl was ready to get braids after this, okay? But, um... <laughs> You've seen the process. I just pretty much laid down my cap with the Gatsby spray. I sprayed the perimeter of my hair. Then I cut the excess off. And then I went ahead and used my alcohol to wipe it down and clean it off. And now we're doing two layers of glue. Slap that bad boy on and she was good. Like, 
I was really surprised on how it came out. Um, I did also watch like the Arrogant Tay little masterclass or whatever a few months ago. So I did remember most of how he said to lay down your wigs. So that's what I was pretty much following when I was doing this. I wasn't following like a video or nothing, but like that's what I pretty much thought of throughout the process. So he pretty much taught you that when you lay that lace down, whatever part is not glued down needs to be cut off. So y'all would see me pretty much cutting and shaping the wig after I do that. But now, a uh, brief intermission because we're about to go ahead and start our lashes. I thought it would be smart to do my lashes while I wait on the lace to melt. So these are the lashes that I'm using. They're the Delia or Delilah lashes. I'll also have them linked down in the description. And I got these from Amazon. They were $11. So this is how I do my own lashes. I usually use the Ardo glue, but I went back to my roots <laughs> and I went ahead and used some hair glue for this instead. So a trick that I use to make my lashes last longer and to really stick on, when I do dip the false lash into the glue, I like to swipe it upwards onto my natural lash. So that way my natural lash is like fully coated in the glue and I just place the lash on right after. So you'll see me doing that. Um, and that's why I'm like swiping it upwards before I lay it down. And I pretty much just lay it right under my eyes and repeat the process until they're all on. And it helps it last a lot longer. And yeah, like these, this set lasted me about five days and the lashes are just so pretty. They look so natural. And yes, I'm just obsessed. I love these lashes so much. So now it's time to finish this wig install. As I mentioned before, one of Arrogant Tay's recommendations was for you to cut off any part of your lace that did not get glued down. Um, and I definitely see why it helps it come out way more natural and it definitely helped it last longer by doing that as well. Um, no extra lifting, stuff like that because I went ahead and just cut off all of the excess lace that wasn't glued down. And now you guys are about to see me attempt to revamp this wig, okay? I tried my best. <laughs> but after doing this, it definitely showed me that I could really slay a, a new wig if I wanted to. So I'm glad I practiced on like this old wig. But yeah, it was a little difficult because it was some balding here and there. And yeah, it was it was... It was a challenge, but we still made it work. I'm not the best at doing edges either. So y'all going to see me like do my edges and switch it around and stuff like that. I did the best that I can. Okay. But anyways, I'm just going to let you guys watch me style the wig and yeah. If y'all want to see my everyday makeup tutorial, make sure to check that video out. It should be either before or after this one. 
but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you guys realize that you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars to look cute you know what i'm saying nails about 30 dollars eyelashes 11 dollars and i still got literally the whole rest of the pack left i only used like two rows that's about a good five or six more sets and it's already been five days since i've had my nails on just a quick update about my nails so um two of them popped off and one broke in half and i'm not <laughs> i don't blame the nails because they're super durable you guys but um i'm really rough-handed i can't help it like i'd be really rough and i tried my best to like be very gentle with these nails but i just be having my moments like especially when i'm cleaning when i just be going in and i just don't give a damn about nothing so the best thing about it though is that there are they come with like 24 nails so um i did have like other nails that fit the finger that fell off so it was like perfect so i just went ahead and glued them back on literally it took me less than 20 minutes to do the set in the first place and it took me two minutes to add two that was missing you know what i'm saying so like so it's already been five days since i've done them and they're not going nowhere if you're not rough as me they will probably last in a month no problem but i'm rough <laughs> i'm trying okay i'm trying but anyways yeah i did my hair this is how it came out i really really wanted to cut into a bob it's i'm probably gonna end up doing it but i'm just gonna wear it long it's giving like you know i got 4c hair but i went and got a blowout you know because it's kind of puffy because it is yakky hair but it's also straight because i straightened it so yeah it's giving like my natural hair that's just straightened so i like it as it is for now but definitely down the road i'm gonna cut it into a bob because the ends are like kind of I don't know. I think it'll look nice as a bob. So yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My lashes I've had on for three days already. Nothing fell off. It's just giving. Like I'm just happy that I know how to do all of this stuff myself, and you guys can learn, of course, by watching my videos. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below. It really helps my channel grow. So if you haven't done that already, at least like the video and subscribe if you have if you're too lazy to comment. But if you do want to leave a comment, that would be amazing. But I appreciate you guys for watching. If you got to the end of the video, you're a real one. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will definitely have way more videos like this. Probably of me doing skincare. I like to do my own facials, pedicures, all that. I already did my feet, so I didn't do it in this video, but I will definitely have more videos coming up like this. So if you did enjoy this one, stay for a while, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, again, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. Mwah.